Democrats' goal is to derail confirmation of all the Biden administration's federal nominees. Unsurprisingly, AAF has been hyper-focused on smearing women and people of color Biden's put up for positions of power, including Lisa Cook, whose nomination as the first black woman on the Federal Reserve's board faces a critical vote on the Senate floor as soon as tomorrow. Joining me now is the author of that brilliant piece, Jane Mayer, Chief Washington Correspondent for The New Yorker. Jane, thank you very much for coming to the Sunday show. Um, as you write, AAF's goal is to derail all of President Biden's nominees, and they've really zeroed in on people of color and women. Why? Jonathan Fischel, thanks so much for having me on. I'm, I'm really glad to be with you. Um, they've got they've got a disproportionate number of targets who are women. Sixty percent of the people they've gone after, and thirty percent are uh, people of color. I think they um, basically there's sort of a rule, which I'm sure you know in journalism, which is consider the source. Who are these people? They mm -hmm. are uh, white male conservatives who are extreme um, Trump supporters. They are paid. Uh, by they're an, a part of an umbrella group that received a million dollars from Trump's PAC. Um, and um, they are trying to basically hurt Biden in any way they can, and they're going after people who are Democrats um, and portraying them as radicals and dangerous, and they're using race a lot in the slurs that they're using on people, which is, it's very ugly, it's, it's a nasty group. Um, it's kind of the underbelly of American politics, mm -hmm. but they turned it into a business. And you know, you you detail some of the things that they've done to a lot of people um, um, who they've gone after. Uh, the, the first two women that you see there are, are people um, you write about. You also write about what happened to Lisa Cook. Can you just give one example of, of what AAF did uh, as part of its effort Calm to down. undermine Lisa Calm Cook's down. nomination? So they've gone to just incredible lengths to try to hurt these people's reputations. Um, it, Lisa Cook is someone who, um, when she was in college, she won a Marshall Scholarship. She then um, went on and got a PhD in economics from uh, University of California, Berkeley. She's got the support of Glenn Hubbard and others who are Republicans. Uh, Hubbard served in economic, high economic positions in the George W. Bush administration. This is a person with tremendous credentials. She's got a tenured position um, at um, the University of Michigan, um, Michigan College, and um, she is Michigan State. She's um, highly respected, but what they've tried to do is um, send out letters to all the people on the faculty, trying to find someone who will say that she didn't deserve the tenure that she got, and trying to just basically pull, pull apart her research. Um, and, and you can see in the Twitter account that belongs to this group that they basically said outright um, that she's, Lisa Cook, they claim, is in her positions of, of uh, esteem because of her skin color, which is really unbelievable. And, and then again, consider the source. Who are these people? Right. They have no degrees in economics. Um, they, they have no particular expertise in this. They work for the most far-right members of the U.S. Senate, and um, particularly someone named Tom Jones, who has uh, done oppo research for Ted Cruz. Um, what they are expert in is, is uh, spreading manure on people's reputations. Mm -hmm. And, you know, right out of the conservative playbook, questioning the qualifications uh, of, a, of a person of color, um, particularly of, of a black woman, of Lisa Cook's, um, pedigree and, and esteem. And Jane, the AAF's donors are, aren't public, are they? They don't have to release them. Well, they they have not released any information about where the money is coming from. Um, they have set themselves up as a charity, supposedly, and eventually they'll have to release some information, but they, so far they've held out and have not said a word about where the money is coming from. But you can see in the umbrella group that they were hatched by is a group called the Conservative Partnership Institute. And, and that is a place that is supported with a million dollar gift from the Trump Leadership Pact. So this is really Trump world that, that is coming at people like Lisa Cook, who are the Biden nominees, who are basically Democrats and highly credentialed Democrats, but they're getting their reputation smeared simply for trying to go into public service.
and we're looking at um, some of the, the black women nominees who've been targeted by AAF um, as part of their really pernicious effort to not only ruin the reputations of, of these black women and other nominees, but also uh, hobble the country in terms of the functioning of government. Um, Jane Mayer, I wanna thank you very much uh, for coming to the Sunday Show and for um, shining a huge spotlight on AAF. Jane Mayer of The New Yorker, thank you. Thanks, Jonathan, so nice to be with you.